Let's take a look at how we can mark serial numbers in EasyCAD. It has a variety of options and I found it's actually pretty helpful because I do sell one machine that I want to mark a serial number on. I want to be able to determine pretty quickly when that item was sold and if it's still in its warranty period. So to do that, what I'm going to do is use a 50 thousandths thick piece of aluminum and it's a little disc like this that I bought from a company called Inland Products. First time buying from them. It's got a little adhesive backer on it and it's 50 thousandths thick. It's anodized aluminum. It looks like they just cut it out of a big sheet that's pre-anodized pre because you can see the edge is not anodized. And I think they just laser cut these out. So what I want to do is be able to drop this on here and mark a serial number, maybe a, a logo, maybe a couple other things, but we'll see how this works. So what we're going to do is first jump into EasyCAD and we're going to create some text. So all I'm going to do is choose the text function and put this somewhere on the page. Right now it just says text, doesn't matter what it says, but we want to hatch it because we want this to show up as a fill rather than an outline. I don't care about the hatch settings for the moment, so I'm just going to select OK. So we have a filled piece of text. Now you see this little box below that says enable variable text. That's what we want to check. So now you get an additional box with a bunch of buttons on the side that say add, delete, previous, next, modify, and array in advance. What we're going to do is click add. We want to add a piece of variable text. So you have all of these options for different kinds of variable text. All I'm going to use in this case is the serial number. So you choose that radio button and then it gives you some more options. You can choose the starting serial number, the current serial number, a limit, so a maximum number, an increment, do you want to increment by one, two, five, whatever, and how many marks do you want to do of each individual serial number? So if you had, let's say, multiple parts, multiple components to an individual product, maybe you want to mark the lid of a product as well as the body of a product. You want that same serial number to show up twice. So you want to mark serial number 0001 two times. So it would just let that show up twice. So every time you hit the mark button on the EasyCAD, you'd still have the same number showing up that number of times. The mode button is just allowing you to change the system of numbering. So in this case, it's just decimals. We're going to leave that the same. You can also do hexadecimals or some user defined system, but that's probably not so common. Probably most people are using decimals. The last little section down here is a filter. So if you wanted to filter out a certain number, you wanted to never mark something, you could choose that box. So let's say I never wanted to mark any number ending in two. So I would put my current format is 0000. zero, zero, zero. So I would put an asterisk for a wild card, so three asterisks, and then let's say the number two. So that would mean anything ending in the number two would not be marked. It would immediately increment past that number. I'm not going to use that. I'm sure there's a situation where you would want to use it, but it doesn't apply to what I'm doing. And you can knock out lead zeros, that kind of thing. So let's start on number one. Let's say our current number is also number one. And our limit, let's say we're going to do a total of 10 of these. So we're going to put 0010. That means as soon as you reach 10, it'll mark number 1, it'll mark number 10, and right after you mark 10, it'll reset to the number 1. So let's say OK to that. Now you can see our text on the screen has 0001. And you can see our text in the list of our variable text list is also 0001. So if we were to mark that right now, let's light it up. You can see it show up there, and let's just mark it. Now you can see our text has incremented to 2. Pretty easy, right? So if we clicked that, enable, that variable text uh, data we have there, we changed the increment to, let's say, 3, and you can see we're currently on 2. Let's say OK. So it's going to mark 2, and then we're going to increment by 3. So let's light that up, and let's mark that. Now you can see it changed to five. Pretty easy, right? And let's say this isn't the only thing we have on the screen. Let's say we have multiple objects, so we want to maybe jump in and do a polygon or something. Let's say we've got that on the screen. Let's say we have another piece of text unrelated to the serial number. That's just, let's say, our company logo or something like that. Could be a vector file, could be a piece of text, could be anything. But let's just throw it there. Let's pretend that's our logo. So you can mark all of this together. And we could mark that right there. I didn't hatch anything, but that's okay. So that'll mark. 
and you can see that automatically increments. It doesn't matter how many objects you include, your settings will still stay the same. And you can select that serial number and you can change that as it makes sense. So let's go back in here and let's say for my product, I'm concerned about the warranty period. So I wanna know when a product was manufactured or sold and let's say I have a one year warranty period. So this tells me it's number eight. Well, that's great, but when did I sell number eight? I don't know from this. So if a customer calls me and they say, hey, I've got number eight, then I have to go back to their file and look it up. That's a little tedious. It'd be nice to know right off the bat that this was sold, let's say this month in August. Well, how can I do that? Let's click on the serial number and let's go back to the variable text box. Let's add another piece of information. So click on the add button, go to the text element screen, and you can see what pops up. We have the option of a date. Let's click that button and we can choose many formats. Right now, let's choose the year. So I just want two digits for the year. Let's just choose 19. And this is gonna be based on the date in your computer. So I'm gonna say, okay. And you can see the date showed up right at the end of my serial number. That's pretty good, but maybe I want that to be a prefix. So let's go to the date and let's click the previous button in our list of variable text items. Now it's showing up first. Maybe I wanna separate that even more and maybe put a hyphen between the date and the serial. What I would do is go to the fixed text radio button in the text element box and put a hyphen. Let's say, okay. Now we have a hyphen, we need to reorder that. So let's click previous. And now we have the year hyphen and we have the serial. Maybe we want more than just the year. Maybe we want the month as well. Like, let's add it. Date, month, and let's not worry about that too much. Let's just say, okay, we don't care. So there's our date, let's go previous, and we want that before the hyphen, so previous. Now it's showing us the year and the month, then a dash, then a serial number. So that's a lot of information. We can tell immediately when this was sold and if our customer is still in the warranty period. Pretty nice, and we can mark that along with the logo, any other information. So that's pretty helpful, and this will increment, this will not increment because it's just fixed text, it's a date. And the hyphen will never change because it is fixed text. So that makes sense, I would assume. Let's say we wanted to get a little more complex. I'm gonna get rid of the logo and the polygon and I'm going to get rid of our month and our year. So I'm just going to choose those objects that I don't want. I'm gonna delete them. And we're back to just the serial number. So what I'm gonna do now is, let's say we have multiple, multiple parts that we wanna mark at once. Maybe they're less expensive parts, maybe they're smaller parts. Maybe we wanna mark three at a time and I need to mark serials eight, nine, and 10 all at once. Well, can we do that? Sure. Let's just click the array button down here and then let's choose in X. Maybe we're putting them in a row. So let's say we've got three in a row, left to right. We've got three in the X and we only want one in the Y. Maybe you're doing multiple, but let's just say we have three in a row and we're not doing a vertical stack. And you can go left to right, right to left, up to down, whatever you want. It's the same as you making an array in EasyCAD normally. So let's say, okay. And now we have an array, but they're overlapping. Let's go back into our array and make sure that we're spacing these out by at least the size of our text object. So it says it's 32.37 millimeters. Let's just make it 35 millimeters. So now we've got three objects spaced out by 35 millimeters and we are incrementing by a large number, I think. So let's go back in, click modify, incrementing by three. Let's just change that to increment by one. So we're currently on number eight. So we should have eight, nine, and 10 here after we click okay. Eight, nine, 10, great. So just to test things, what if I put increment by two? So we should have eight, 10, and one. So I guess it's gonna reset no matter what and then start incrementing again. If I put increment by five, then we've got eight one. So it's always gonna reset to one. But you get the idea. So if I instead put two here and our Y is what? Three millimeters, so that's gonna be way too much. So let's just increment by five. Or sorry, let's uh, make the array set up by five. Now we'll have two instances and that's, I guess that was gonna be positive. You can make that negative as well. So modify, <coughs> sorry, array, negative five, okay. So now you can put them below. So whatever the size of your part is you're marking, you can set it up appropriately. 
and it probably doesn't make that much sense to limit yourself to 10. Let's limit it to 1,000. Say OK. Now you've got 8, and let's increment by 1, because that's probably going to be the most normal situation. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, left to right. And you can change the way that sets up in the array, but just to mark it and have a little bit of fun, let's see how that looks. Okay, we're kind of running out of space, but that's all right. Let's mark. So this will take a second since we're hatching all six numbers. So you can see that's how it showed up and you can change the space and do whatever you want. Normal functions in EasyCAD, but that's basically how you set up a serial number and the different options you have available. And you can see there are quite a few. And if you've ever used a file renamer or anything like that, it's basically the same kind of thing. You just choose a format, you structure it, and then you press go. Pretty easy, right? And you can choose any number of vector files, any number of anything else you want to put in this and just select it pretty easily. So if I did have, let's say my logo is a circle, I'd have to put that on here multiple times and set it up in a format that makes sense. So I would have to change my array to accommodate the logo and space these out further. But I'm sure everybody's kind of used to that by now if you've used EasyCAD at all, and it probably makes sense. So that's a quick primer on setting up serial numbers in EasyCAD. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.